Okay, welcome to this uh, explanation of what we will expect uh, from, let's see, share screen, I want to share that, okay. Uh, this is an explanation for the uh, final exam uh, for the CSE 102. Okay, so your deadline for submitting anything that you're going to submit, your deadline is Sunday, June 28th, 2020. Okay, you have to submit it through OYS. That is a requirement of the university. You need to send me one file, one file only. It will be named CSE 102 final exam and then your student number. It can be .docx, it can be .pdf, um, kind of at a loss for any other options. Uh, just like with the midterm, if you want to put a link to a Google Drive shared document or folder in there, that's fine. Um, but you really should be able to do this in one document, in one Word document or one PDF or one Excel spreadsheet. And I'll explain that. Uh, so anyway, you are not writing code for this. OK, so some of you are kind of freaking out about uh, some of this uh, section down here. OK, some of you are kind of concerned about well, what's all this with June 4th. OK, your deadline is June 28th. OK, so what you are giving to me is a, a test report. So you're going to grade my program. OK, I'm going to write some submissions as if I was a student that was trying to write the code for an assignment. You need to give me a grade on that. OK, that's what I'm asking you to do. So what you're having to do is you're coming up with test cases. Um, if you don't want to use test cases, you can, but it's going to be kind of hard to walk through all the code and give me a reasonable, reasonably good grade. OK, but anyway, so what this other so before we get into this part, let's get into this other section over here. OK, so this deadline of Thursday, June 4th, that's deadline for me. OK, that's the deadline for me to be able to give you the Java files and the UML files. OK, I'm making those. I'm going to make all of the Java code examples. I'm going to make all the UML diagrams Okay, and I'm going to upload them to a Google Drive folder that I will share with you. OK, then you will have access to those. The reason that I want you to take note of this deadline is if there's one that comes in late, if there's one that comes in on Friday, on June 5th, then you need to reflect that in the grading, okay? Because there's a late policy, right? Okay, so little heads up there that whatever comes in Thursday, June 4th, uh, isn't the only thing that might come in, okay? All right, so I am going to write my code. I'm going to try to fulfill all of these requirements. Oh, that's a typo. That shouldn't be five. That should be a different number. OK, I'm going to try to fulfill all of these requirements. I'll, I'll edit that and make that right. OK, and so OK, so I'm going to try to fulfill these requirements. I'm going to write my my classes and I'm going to write my methods and all of that. And then I am going to create a few different versions of this code. OK, including exceptions and all of this stuff and all the rules here. OK, and then I'm going to give you those into that Google Drive folder. Your job, what you're what you need to do. Over, let's see, this is due June 4th. So let's see, you have 24 days, OK, to uh, look at my code, generate a test case report. Tell me what what did I do well? What did I do poorly? What worked? What didn't? OK, you need to also include as part of your report for each submission. How readable was my code? Was my code understandable? Right. If I wrote a method and you had no clue why my method was written the way that it was, you, you need to tell me that. Like, well, why'd you write it this way? OK, uh, some other submission items. So like UML, right? 
there's a UML diagram that's required. You know, what did I do well in my UML diagram? What did I do poorly in my UML diagram? And then you got to give me a final grade. So uh, assuming that my grade will be out of 100, if I did a perfect job and if my code runs and if my UML diagram is entirely understandable and correct, then I should get 100. If I did, in your estimation, about half, then I should get a 50. If I did very poorly, then maybe only a 20, right? So, or even less if I did very badly, right? So these are, uh, this is what that final grade value. You need to tell me what your weighting system is, okay? Is if you said, uh, well, I put 50% of the points onto the code and I put 50% of the points onto the UML diagram and this was the value I came up with, then you need to explain that, okay? All right, so again, you are not writing the classes for this assignment. You're not writing the department class and the student class and the teacher class and the course class. You're not writing those, okay? You can, in fact, I may encourage you to think about how you would write those classes to help you understand uh, how you would want to test them, okay? But you are testing my submissions, okay? Um, again, while you are not writing the Java code for the classes, uh, again, may help you to write your own solution, okay? You must include examples of your test cases, and I say JUnit, so the easiest way to do this would be to copy some examples of your JUnit test cases. The easiest way would be to copy some of those test cases into your report, into your document, and submit that text as part of it. That'd be the easiest way. Um, a, if you don't want to do it that way, that's fine. If you want to write some kind of pseudocode version of how you would have tested it uh, if you had used JUnit. Um, but, you know, as a good student, what I would want to do is if you gave me a certain grade and I it was, you know, not what I would expect, then I would say, well, can you show me what were my tests that I failed? Right? Or can you explain to me, give me some kind of notes on what type of test did I fail? Okay, so what methods were, did not work well? Um, and that kind of thing. Okay, so I hope that clears things up. Uh, again, you are not writing the thing that's due June 4th. That's me. I'm writing the thing that's due June 4th. Okay, I will have it to you. I will have some of them to you by June 4th. But be aware that there may be some coming later that will be considered late, and you'll have to grade them according to the late policy. Okay? All right. Uh, hope that clears things up, and uh, I hope you guys do well, and I hope you guys have been prepping well for uh, the end of this semester. All right.